Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Thank you all so much for checking out the channel. I'm actually doing this as an update video to the biggest video that we've ever had on the channel. Eric July, The Ripperverse, what's the point? I wanted to address a couple of things in that video because I can't keep up with the comments. The comments are coming in uh, too quickly. And uh, there's one thing I did correct in the video's comments section, but I feel that it warrants another video. In the video that I did, I was really focused on talking about Eric July, the successes that he's had, and how he's working towards the parallel economy. And the parallel economy was such a major point for me that I was like, I was just trying to like get there. Um, kind of like a bad date. All they want to do is get there. So anyway, like your bad date trying to get there, I completely misstated that this was not a crowdfunded effort by Eric July. This was a self-funded effort. A lot of other YouTubers keep saying the crowdfunding aspect. And I think because if you go to the Ripperverse website, there's a little thing there for like, there is a donation area, but there's also like a purchase the crap that I already fucking paid for area, right? Sorry for the bad language. I apologize. <clears throat> I'm a little, I'm a little spicy this morning. So, saying that it was a crowdfunded effort, or the largest crowdfunding comic book effort ever, was absolutely wrong on my part. 100%, I admit it, I completely misspoke right there. Just completely. Like, it's, no, he self-funded the comic book, and his website is, it's a campaign, and then when you think campaign, you just colloquially link, you know, crowdfund campaign, it yeah, it was this dumb thing that happened in my brain. So, um, and I do apologize. No, Eric July is a self-funded uh, man and self-funded his own comic book, and I needed to correct that record. Um, the next thing that I really want to correct because I'm I'm actually pulled the comments up here and I'm reading the comments now. A lot of people seemed to misunderstand what I was saying when I was talking about Eric July being an anarcho-capitalist versus a libertarian and that like, I think he's still an anarcho-capitalist because libertarians want more government. I think what a lot of people took me saying that was saying that libertarians want more government than we currently have now. No, I was saying that, because again, I'm talking about anar anarcho and caps, ah, anarcho-capitalists, right? And libertarians. And then I say, I don't think Eric July is a libertarian because they tend to want more government, right? It's saying that Eric July wants no government, right? Um, last I checked, he said abolish the government, okay? Because he's an anarchist. Being a libertarian myself, um, and I've actually kind of moved away from the term libertarian. I, I've gone from Republican to conservative to libertarian, and then I've kind of moved all the way, I don't know, I, anarchism, I don't know, I still don't want to dance my, my toes on, on the line of anarchism yet because I, I still have a little bit of faith in human beings and I still believe that we could somewhat save our government, but I would, I would refer to myself as just a federalist now. I just want the federalist system to work the way it was intended to, but, uh, the idea behind me saying that libertarians wanted more government libertarians want more government than anarchists do right or ancaps right but anarcho-capitalist is not a libertarian they are a branch of anarchism not a branch of libertarianism libertarians do still tend to want small government even local government anarchists don't want government that's the point of anarchy um I had a lot of people, oh, do your research, you need to know this stuff. Yeah, I trust me, guys. I've 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 done I've done the research. I don't like the conflation of definition, okay? I do understand that if I mangled my words, it may have come across ill spoken. But I'm I, I'm not going to conflate what an anarchist is with what a libertarian is. That's 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 too totally different things right now they can both be working from where we're at currently they can both work in the you know in that direction together right they can both go that way which i'm good with like everybody go that way right um but the idea that an anarchist can call himself an anarchist while still wanting small government that's not an anarchist so 
I don't know because uh, I haven't been able to catch a lot of live streams lately. Uh, my job keeps me from being able to check out his noon live streams. But I don't know if Eric July is okay with small and local government existing. Um, I know that he said after reading Anatomy to this State, that was a big eye-opener for him. Um, I am not sure. I know that, again, he is running in the same directions as the ANCAPs, but I think his finish line, or uh, I'm sorry, as the Libertarians. Eric July is running in the same direction as the Libertarians, but I think his finish line is a little further down the road than theirs is. To simply say that, you know, like Libertarians want as small as government uh, or as small of a government as possible, right? Uh, a buddy of mine describes it really, really well. It's like like a, in a baseball game. He wants just enough rules that say you can't take the bat with you to first, right? Because you don't want the you don't want the batter, you know, wiping out the first baseman. <laughs> like, so I needed to clarify those things. I've had a blast with the discussion in the comments. People coming at me. It's fun. It gets it gets me all spicy in the morning. That's why I need my coffee. But I wanted to make this video because I felt it was very important to correct some of those some of those things. I don't think I didn't intend for me to misspeak that badly on the crowdfunding thing. I I rewatched the video and I I mm, that was that was bad. Um I'm not going to apologize on saying that libertarians want more government than ANCAPs. Um, I probably could have been better in my clarification, but generally speaking, a libertarian wants more government than an anarchist does. Like, I'm not going to apologize for saying that. Because, like, unless somebody's playing gobbledygook with definitions lately. Like, I don't know. I mean, they're trying to change the definition of men and women, too. So, hmm, well... Maybe somebody is being gobbledygook with the definitions. But this video has gone on long enough. It's a little bit shorter. Thank you guys so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I really appreciate all of the support of this of the last uh, video. It's it's insane. It, it is for, for such a tiny channel that is, that is this channel. You guys just... You guys blew that video up. Thank you. So until next time, we'll see you right here on A Drink With Crazy. Peace. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.